Hey Banks gang, it's Anila here. And if you are new, then welcome to the Banks channel, honey, where I, I got some crazy story time, some DIYs, just a little some sprinkle of like all type of stuff. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And I just wanted to give a oh all the lights went off. Um I just wanted to give like an update of what's been going on with me because I haven't been active on here and I'm going to just tell y'all what's been going on. So um, when I was shadow banned on TikTok, y'all, I was just so devastated. I was so fucking devastated and I was like, who? That was the crazy time of my life. And um, now the update is my children's, they go back to school um, I work now and I work early in the morning, like before my children needs to get up to go to the school. And since I've been on this new routine, a lot of shit been falling apart. Like my son is on his last strike. If he come into school one more time, I am being like, if he comes into school one more time late, then I am going to be fined. And I'm just like, whoa, like that's, that's fucked up. And my daughter, my oldest daughter, she keep getting detention at school. And I think it's because she's so used to me being home. And the fact that I'm not home, she requires more attention. And she feel like she's not getting it. And one way that I do know that she, how she deals with it is she act out at school. So I got that. Um, then at my job, y'all, I, I done got the nickname Smiley because can't nobody say my name. But, um... Every, every, can't nobody say I'm ever like in a bad mood. They ever seen me like frown, they ever seen me sad, anything like that. Well, one time, cause I lost my, my wedding ring. I mean, my, I had, I had, I don't know how my engagement ring got out of my apron and was behind the refrigerator. I don't know how that happened, but I was crying at work cause I'm like, oh my God, nope, uh, 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 uh. And thankfully one of my coworkers found it and I appreciate her so much because of the Lord, Woo, she saved me from a lot of anxiety, a lot of crying, a lot of why did this happen to me? And um, other than that, nobody has ever seen me like crazy. So I got the nickname at work called Smiley. Like a lot of our regulars, they call me Smiley. Um, one of them, Karen, she talking about some she love when I come to work. Because when I'm not at work, it's just not the same no more. Like the vibe is kind of different. And I don't know. I don't know how true that is. I don't know. But that's what she told me personally. But I come to work and I'll, I'll bust my ass, y'all. I give my job 110% of me. Like, I'll be so excited to get out of the house, to just breathe, to be around other humans, just to... Because I've been a single... Uh, not a single. I have been a stay-at-home mom for, like, the longest, for, like, the, the last three and a half, damn near four years. And this isn't a big adjustment for me and my entire family, but my family is, like, they not... It's, 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 it's a lot to deal with. It is a lot to fucking deal with. And on my way to work today, honey. Oh, like it's just, it's just a lot. I got five children and four out of the five is sick. My fiance is sick. It's just me and my oldest son who ain't sick. And I don't know how I didn't get sick. Yes, I do. I'm about to tell y'all. So little do my job know, little do y'all know. I really eat like on the weekends. That's about it. I don't eat. I don't eat. And I know that it's so unhealthy, y'all. But my life is so fucking chaotic. Like, I need help. I know I got to let something go. I just don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, I really don't know what to do, y'all. I just don't know. I don't know. I, I don't eat. I go three, four days without eating y'all i promise you I, I really like eating on the weekend i ain't even finna jack i ain't even finna front i'm putting myself out there on the front street but i don't be eating i really don't i don't be eating and i need to that was the point of what the fuck i was trying to tell y'all but um i because i don't eat my sleep is all messed up so because so many of my children are sick i'm up being a mom to them and i'm not making excuses but y'all i really need i don't know what to do so because a lot of my children are sick like i'm up with them and they don't feel good so i know i'm supposed to be asleep but i can't go to sleep right now because my daughter needs me or my son needs me or my other daughter needs me or my other daughter needs me 
I, 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 it's just one of me. It's just one of me. It's just one of me. It is literally just one of me. And I am already overworked and underpaid. And I just, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So I go to sleep late because I'm trying to get my baby fever down or I'm trying to get her some liquids or I'm trying to, you know, I got to keep changing diapers because they sick, you know? So it'd be a lot. My big daddy, he'd be at work and I, I, it's just me. It is just me. So I go to sleep late and then I end up waking up late or I oversleep and then it's causing me to be late at work. And then they looking at me crazy at the job. And I overhear a conversation of like, oh, why she just couldn't call? Why she just couldn't call and say she was late? And how do you tell somebody? I ain't never had a job long enough where if I was late to know I'm supposed to call. Like I was like four or five minutes late still. I get it. I didn't know I was supposed to call. Excuse me for not having enough experience with jobs in my life to know I'm supposed to call. I don't know. These folks really don't be believing me when I be telling them certain shit. Like, I had more cars than I had jobs. Like, paid off full of cars. I can count on one hand how many jobs I've had. And I'm 31. I don't, I don't, y'all, some stuff just do not come to me. And a lot of people be like, it should. How am I supposed to know if I ain't never had to work like that? Now, if you was talking about the nightlife, oh, I could tell you about that because we don't never have to call and do that type of stuff. But uh, I'm just like, what the fuck? So today, y'all, I felt so fucking defeated today because um, I wake up. I got to be at work at 5 and I wake up at 440 and I jump up. I say, oh, shit, I'm about to be late. So I hurt and rush and I get myself together through my hair like this. This shit ain't even how I really wear it. And then I'm heading downstairs. Everybody sleep. I got to be at work before my kids get up. So on my way out the door, I'm trying to keep the lights off so I won't wake nobody up because, you know, kids be needing they sleep. They do. And as I'm going down, I'm on the middle level. So now as I'm going down into my garage, I don't know who put it there. I don't know. But my nail luggage is big as shit. My nail luggage is all black. My house is pitch black at this point. I don't got no lights on. And I got all this shit in my hands. My car keys, my phone, my um, my smoker's kit, um, my apron, my coat. I got too much shit in my hands. So I tried to tiptoe and ease my ass to my car. And boom, I trip and I fall. And this is my first time falling, like, as an adult. Like, really just, like, fucking falling. I straight up tripped over this big-ass luggage that's, like, almost four feet tall. And about, I don't know, a foot, no, about two feet wide. Yeah, about two feet wide. I tripped over the whole thing. Boom! Fall right on my hip. Fall right on my elbow. And then, and this is my first time looking at it. But, uh, let's look at it together. This is my elbow. Uh... Is it kept burning? Yeah, yeah, because it's still burning, y'all. That motherfucker's still burning. I have yet to look at my hip. I'm not sure if... I got a limp, okay? I got a limp. I'm not sure what I did. I'm not sure, but I'm scared to look because it might be a bruise like the last... Matter of fact, this is the same damn hip I fell on when I fell off the pole. If you ain't seen that story, Tom, I'm going to link it. It's going to be here or here. But I fell off the damn pole. I did. I did. And I messed up my hip. And it was bruised so bad. I was limping too. It was bruised so bad they thought I broke my hip. But really, I, I, I really like banged myself up. So I was on crutches for like two weeks. But um, yeah, that's what's been going on in my life, y'all. Um, I've been trying to record content but my house is so chaotic i just need some organization i'm a virgo i need organization to survive and right now i'm feeling defeated because it ain't no damn or organization here and i just don't know what to do i don't know what to do if you have any suggestions please leave them down below because i would surely love it if you do and other than that um, if you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up. Any type of advice, opinion would be, no, you did not. I know you did not. Um, 
any advice or opinion would be truly appreciated, y'all. I promise you. And with that being said, me love y'all. Thank y'all for 6,000 subscribers, okay? Let's get up there to the 10. Can we get to the 10? I would appreciate it if y'all get it to the 10. And um, other than that, 